Hello and welcome back. So if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel grow. So let's use our sign up page to create a login page instead. Okay, so this design is done. Um, next is a sign up page. So copy everything, oh, sorry, login page. Copy everything from the sign up view. And let's right click on Oath folder and paste and save this as login.view.php. So login. And we're going to go to our controllers and uh, the same way we have the sign up controller here, I'm going to copy everything, uh, new controller, paste and save this one as login.php. Only I have to change this to login and that's about it. So if I now click on the login, this is what I get. So remember this one doesn't have a navigation uh, once we are about to log in. So let's change a few things here. For starters, let's, um, let's see, login view. I want to reduce uh, this large to four and this one to, uh, I don't know, five. Let's see what we've got. Okay, that's much better. I kind of like this better. So maybe let's do the same for the sign up. Uh, oh, before I commit that, let me use my uh, responsive design to make sure that it doesn't get too squeezed at any point. Uh, maybe here, I'm not sure. And then it goes all the way. Hmm. Eh, we'll leave the sign up one the way it is, but this is the login one. So instead of user login, we'll just say login. And I want a break tag between, actually, let me duplicate this and remove the this one from this text. And here I just put H1 for this and remove the login. Okay. Let's see that. Okay, I think I changed things from the wrong place. So let me copy all of this here and undo, of course. Uh -huh. So I was changing the sign up view. I should be changing the login view. So I'm going to paste here. And let's see. Okay, much better. So username, uh, we'll be using, I don't know what we'll use for logging in. Maybe the email address I think is better. So remove username. Password just requires once, no need to retype. And we can't really cancel a login process here. So let's leave that out and change this to login. And I do want this in the center, so I want to float it anywhere. So what I'll do is just put a div, right, like so. And I'll put this inside a div. Then, of course, I will put a class of container fluid. That way it has a flex box on it. So let's refresh, and there we go. And uh, let's see, a width here, let's add a style. Let's say width, maybe even min width is fine. Let's do 100 pixels. Let's see how that changes things. Okay, much better. Then I want to justify it to the center. So I'll say justify content center. And refresh. That didn't work at all. Maybe instead of container fluid, let's use row and see if that works at all. Eh, it stretched it, but I kind of like it. But let's see if you were trying to do it the other way around. So maybe we can do D flex like this display flex because this is a flex property, the justify content center. It has to be flexed. Ah, and there it is. It actually worked. 
So maybe what I want to change here is the font size. Let me change the font size to something like 18 pixels. Let's try it there. Uh, let's see what goes. Wow, it, it wasn't so different after all. Let's put 20. Let's see here what we have. Okay, so boom, login. But I kind of like the row thing. So instead of deflex and justify center, let's just uh, set this to row like this and remove the width. Maybe the, the font size can remain. Okay, there we go. Login. Yes, so email address. The placeholder, I think I prefer having this say email address. Okay, so email. Actually, don't need the label at all. It's just uh, making things more complex. So, email and password. Let's put autofocus on that. And we are happy. Great. If you want, you can add a shadow to the whole box by just saying shadow. So right here, we can just say shadow. And uh, you can either put a large shadow or a small one. So this one is okay. You can also put shadow SM for small. So just experiment on those. Or you can put uh, LG or large this will make it look more yeah something like that I kind of like small so let's uh, use that instead great so log in my point of sale mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so here we can change the background color if you want it to look different so for example it's um, Wait, 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 what can we do really? Hmm. This one is centralized, so maybe I can put another div above this one. Uh, actually, no, let me avoid going all the way. These are design issues that can always change depending on your preference. So just go crazy and do whatever you want on this section. So we do have the login page now. We have the sign up page. And then we have the home page. Oops. What does this one say? Point of sale. Okay. So that's my bad. Home actually here. Let's go back to the nav. Uh, it's not point of sale. It's just home. So this is the same href that will be on the my post name right here. That's the home page. So refresh, click, we are home. Click, we are home. Login, there we go. Sign up. And a few other pages we can do. Log out. Um, let's concentrate on the home page in the next video.